we now are in the time, and people want to now be informed. Once you present people with the truth, the truth is undeniable. Once you present people with the truth, the truth is undeniable. Okay, uh, the material relativity actually deals with the gravity component. Maxwell had dealt with uh, electromagnetic. The strong and the weak is being puzzling everybody. So uh, they want all those four combined. And what the equation did was to combine not just those four, but others that may not have been found yet. Hmm. The graph that you're seeing there is the unification of the four force fields that are known, as well as those that have not been known yet. Um, we were hmm. able to show that Maxwell and, Ax and uh, Einstein, as well as Newton, have one curve described, which is the first curve to the right there. Okay. It shows a force field that has a center right to the left, the beginning, the, what's called the origin. Mm -hmm. That's where the source of the force field that moves the universe is located. And from there, as you move away, you can see the force is coming down, meaning that it's diminishing, which is expecting okay. like a, a ripple. Uh, so then the first one is the electromagnetic as well as the gravity, which is what Einstein wanted to unify. And then in the middle was your power uh, estimate of the strong force field, because we needed that in order to build a bomb in the 30s and the 40s. Right. That's okay? right. So, but they didn't have it, however, he made an estimate. We reproduce that in our solutions as well as give the actual correct result for the strong force field, which is given, has a proper range to it, and then the one that's most elusive, which is the weak force field. Mm -hmm. And humanity needs to be concerned about the weak force field because neutrino is uh, the source of basically cancer that we all have. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, it permeates through, you know, tons of lead. If you part lead, this thing goes through it, you know, that means our bones and everything else has no, has no obst obstruction to this particular thing at all. But okay. the force field has been very elusive. We found that one as well. Ultimately, the there's enough suspicion amongst human beings, okay? If you don't believe that, look at the wars, okay? Even a group that would be considered to be one group and shouldn't fight, they fight. I mean, <laughs> okay? There's fighting all over the place. So there is suspicion. There's lack of trust, okay, amongst humans. So on a big issue like the origin of the universe, you want to eliminate such lack of trust as a factor in determining what it is. So therefore, in other words, you want to be sure. You don't want an account that is giving because somebody or some group just want to be heard. Okay? You want the truth. Okay? Because you want nothing but the truth, it is important to look at the various accounts and see which is right and which is wrong. Okay? Because Gagot did not start with any of them as a, a starting point. Gagot started from pure mathematics. God's word is indeed the big bang, which sounded like a roaring water waves of none. Roaring water waves of none. That unification is very important. In many ways, most people would have liked to look at these three as separate accounts, different accounts. And if so, which one is the correct one? You'd want to know that. Why would you want to be misled by any of them? But from the mathematical point of view, the unification factor, a common denominator, a common denominator, common factor, common building block. And that common denominator for all these three accounts is waves. Waves. This one saw it like a sound waves. This one saw it as other forms of waves in terms of an explosion. 
and certainly the ancient Africans saw it like the water waves, the roaring water waves. And the beauty, I think, you know, of Gagat is the fact that these things are broken down in very simple language so that every person can deal with it. Mm. That's the bottom line because the power of Gagat is centered on the word God, okay, and, uh, and the truth. Okay? The truth is, these are the, you know, of course, you know, God and truth are, are pretty much together in the sense that God doesn't lie. God has no time to lie. I mean, <laughs> you understand? God is too big for lies. So God tells the truth, okay? So that's a theorem. God talks in theorems, okay? So therefore, so the power of God, God therefore, is in God, you know, and the language of God, which is the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're hearing right now, Okay? And anybody, therefore, can listen to what is being presented here and agree or disagree with it without uh, feeling like, oh, they're not mathematicians. So this has nothing to do with mathematics at this point. Mm -hmm. This has to do with the basic truth. Okay? We are walking around in a world of modeling. What has been gifted to us now from Almighty God is the capacity to build a new world of supreme modeling which brings with it then all the product, the economic and financial gains inherent of the supremacy of modeling capability. So that's something of the so what 
of Gargus. 